First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. The temple of King David, scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalom. Hey, Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few Akwaf. Shalom to the hopeful elect. And this is your brother Dubar Kabash coming back at you from the GMS Charlotte, North Carolina camp with a quick lesson to edify through the Rakahak Wadash. And Yahar Ratazah, this lesson will be edifying to someone. So, um, I wanted to do this lesson real quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And um, uh, Elder Pastor Hard just did a lesson, right? And it was called The Full Moon is Not the New Moon and Other Topics. You know, and what he pretty much went into was, you know, uh, how the IUIC, you know, how they don't call on the name of the Lord, they call on the fake white man Jesus. You see that? And also, you know, how they believe that, you know, the Sabbath, you know, it's on Saturday sundown to Sunday sundown. That's not found in the scriptures, man. You see that? The new moon is based off of the moon. You see that? It's based off the moon, man. You know, but you individuals out there, right, you scoffers and you bug outs, you know, you just don't get it because... Ultimately, the spirit of the Lord is not dealing with you individuals, man. Right? And uh, I want to go to the comment board here. And uh, this guy by the name of Paul Curtsy, I want to say that um, he's actually one of the guys of the IUIC who disguised himself. Right? Uh, uh, who disguised himself, right, under this name. You see that? And, you know, this guy here, he come on, comes on the comment board. You know, and, you know, while we're live and all of that, you know, and, you know, the guy lacks faith, man. That's that's just all it is to it. He doesn't have faith, you know, and a man like myself, when I first came into this thing, you know, that was something, you know, that I asked the Lord to give me, man, was faith. You see that? To, to open up my eyes, you know, to have understanding of the scriptures, you know, and... Damn it, every time I do lessons, right, you always got somebody in the background, you know, a, 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 a bugging out, man. You see that? And they're marked for judgment, man. You see that? Because when I try to go into the Word, you got people that always want to come by as soon as when I do lessons. It's always quiet before I do lessons, right? And then right when I do the lessons, you know, anyway... Not gonna go into that. But uh, you know, this guy Paul Curtsy, you know, he uh, you know, he, he he's a scoffer, man. Ultimately. And he, and he doesn't have faith. You know, he doesn't believe in the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? He stands up for false prophets. You see that? And this guy here, he is marked for judgment. Paul Curtsy, you are marked for judgment because the Lord is only dealing with, right, the elect. That's what it's all about, the prophets, man. You see that? The men that are prophesying the downfall of this place. And even when you go into these IUIC videos, right, they never go into, you know, uh, 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 the destruction of this place, man. You see that? They never go into the MOTB or none of that. You see? So IUIC is marked for judgment, man. See that? You know, so... So you can go ahead and just bring a few scriptures out and I'm going to end this lesson, man. Right? That's what it's all about. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord our power will do nothing, right? But he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, right? The prophets. You see that? So that's what it's all about, man. The prophets. Right? You got a lot of individuals out there. And Shalaki. You got a lot of individuals out there, man. Right? They're not hearkening unto the prophets. You see that? And they been, my phone had to chime. I'll just say that. That's through the Spirit. You see that? So the Lord is revealing his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. 
he's not revealing them unto guys like Paul Kersey, you know, these these false prophets out here, man. Right? Because at the end of the day, you know, they received a 501c3. You see that? They teach the masses bugged out shit. You see? You know, that's why scriptures say uh, they prophesy unto us smooth things. Right? And we're not here to prophesy. The real prophets are not here to prophesy unto you smooth things, man. We're here to tell you the truth. And we're going to openly rebuke you, man. You see that? So you other Israelite groups, you two-third bug outs, right? You low-level individuals out there that got your nuts crushed, right? The Lord is dealing with us. And Yaharath is one of those men, man. You see that? The men of Great Millstone. Starting with our head of the Apostle Tahar, right? Of the Apostle Gabar, of the Apostle Ramla, of the Apostle Rakar. And the men on down. You see that? So he's not dealing with the average two-third. You see that? You got to know that, man. If you don't know that, then you don't have the spirit of discernment. That's why we tell you individuals to open up the books yourselves, right, and read. And we're telling you to pray and repent and to call and worship on the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. You see that? If you notice, these individuals, they don't call and worship on the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in truth, righteousness, and sincerity, right? They can't go into any breakdowns, and right? They can't go into any prophecies or none of that, man. Why? Because the spirit is not supping with them. So these things are revealed unto the prophets. You see that? The secrets are revealed unto us. Let's keep going here, man. Right? I want to keep this lesson real short and real quick. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 1. But he that giveth his mind, right, to the law of the Most High, right? So that's why you're supposed to be meditating in these scriptures, man. Right? And it's occupied in the meditation thereof. See that? I just said that. We'll seek out the wisdom of all the ancient. You see that? So that's why it's very important to read about the about the prophets that came before us, man. You see? And if you're not reading, you're not studying, you're not going to any precepts or none of that, right? And bringing them out, the Spirit of the Lord is not dealing with you, man. Right? I'm going to keep going. We'll seek out all the wisdom of the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. You see that's you see that? So it's all about prophecies, man. You know, it's all about prophecies. That's what it's about. Right? A prophet is a seer. You see that? Someone that can see into the future. And how do you see into the future? By reading the scriptures. You see that? But that has to be given unto you by Yahweh Shai, man. You see that? Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Right? This is the book of Revelation chapter 19, verse 9. And he said unto me, right? This is, Now this is, <coughs> when you read the book of Revelation, right? It is going into John the Revelator. Right? And he was on the island of Patmos. And he was given certain visions. Right? And if you don't understand what's going on here in the book of Revelations, you know, I mean, the Spirit of the Lord definitely ain't dealing with you. The mysteries have not been opened unto you. You see that? That's just a backdrop, a real short backdrop. But anyway, it's the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 9. And he saith unto me, Right and blessed, you hear that? Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. You see that? So, Yahweh is one of those men, right? That are eating, right, from the table of the Lord, man. You see? Let's keep going here. And he saith unto me, These things are true. Shlaki, these are the true 
sayings of the Most High. You see? So the things that we're saying coming out of the book, right, are faithful and true. See that? Let's keep going here. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he saith unto me, See, is, see thou do it not. So John the Revelator bowed down unto this angel. And the angel said unto him, right? Don't worship me, right? You understand? I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. You see that? So the angels themselves have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man. So the angel was being humble before John the Revelator, man. You see that? Because at the end of the day, all praises are due to Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. You see that? I'm going to keep going here. Worship the Most High. You see that? For the testimony of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach is the spirit of prophecy. I mean, I don't have to go no further there, man. Right? We have the spirit, you brothers, right? Not talking about you sisters and you bug outs, you background bug outs. You individuals don't have the spirit, man, of Yahweh Shai. You see that? And guys like this right here, Paul Kersey, he does not have, right? Let's go into it. This guy right here, let's go to his channel. Cause I'm pretty sure there's nothing on it, right? This guy right here does not have the spirit of prophecy. Now the Lord can pull him out of this crap that he's involved himself in, right? No videos, no playlist, right? He subscribed to himself, I guess. You know, and this guy here, I mean, you know, ain't no telling, man. This, you know. The Spirit of the Lord ain't dealing with him. I'll just say that, man. So this guy here, he does not have the spirit of prophecy on him. He's not calling on the names. He has no faith, obviously. Right? <sighs> That's why we tell you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Right? See, scriptures say many are called, but a few are chosen. Let's bring this out, man. Right? This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 20. But the prophet, right, which shall I presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. You see that? So you individuals out there that call yourselves prophets, like the guy Nate, you know, they took the bag, you know, pretty much sold out. You know, you're calling on false gods like the name of Jesus. That's why you got to do your, you have to do your research. You have to do your research on the letter J. You see that? You, you must. You know, we're not going to do this for you anymore. You know, the last time I did a video on the letter J, it was taken down on my old channel. You see that? So you individuals that are calling yourselves prophets and all that and still calling worship on the name of Jesus. And all you got to do is type up the name Jesus, right? And you'll Google search and you're going to see who pops up. That is not how he looked. So, so these Israelite groups, they call themselves, right? Israelite united in Christ, fake white man Jesus, right? You have that vibration on you, fake white man Jesus, man. Right, and you are not a prophet. You see that? And you individuals will die. It's plain and simple, man. Let's keep going here. Like I say, just something real quick through the spirit and pop y'all by Shema Rashai. Right? Because you individuals that are not hearkening unto the real prophets that are out here, you must be cut off. You gotta die on this side. You'll get it right in the kingdom. But on this side, you got to go. And everyone is playing their lot, man. You are fulfilling your lot. If you're a bug out, right, you're just a bug out. If you're a prophet, right, you're going to make it on this side, man. 
That's all it is to that. Let's read this here. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 23. And it shall come to pass, right, that every soul, every soul, you so-called black slots, you Native Americans, man, that will not hear that prophet, right? And you got a lot of people, they're not hearing us today. They're not hearing the prophets today. They're doing what the hell they want to do. Right? Shall be destroyed from among the people. You see that? So this is, what, this is what's going to happen to you individuals that don't want to hear the prophets, man. You're going to be destroyed. You see? It's very plain and very simple. The prophets have been risen up in the last days, and we are in the last days. So if you don't want to hear us, you're going to die. That's all it is to that, man. Plain and simple. See? So it should lock you for the slip of the tongue, but I want to bring this out, man. You know, this guy here, Paul Kersey, by you not hearkening to the prophets, right, you're going to die, man. That's all it is. We went into the lesson. We told you when the new moon was. We told you what the name of the Lord was and all that, man. If you don't want to hear us, that go for you other individuals out there, man. Right? You background bug outs. You're going to die because you simply did not want to hearken unto the prophets. You had doubt. You see that? You had doubt. And you're going to die in your doubt. Until the next time I say, Shalom. Ko halayim la. Ahalayin awa. Yahawah. Bahashem. Yahawah shai.